Good morning. This is Saturday, September 18th, and today's devotion is His Temptation and Ours. This is Hebrews 4. We, we do not have a high priest who cannot sympathize with our weaknesses, but was in all points tempted as we are, yet he was without sin. That's a great study. That's Hebrews 4. I encourage you to find that and research what that means. Until we are born again, the only kind of temptation we understand is the kind mentioned in James 1, 4. Each one is tempted when he is drawn away by his own desires and enticed. But through regeneration, we are lifted into another realm where there are other temptations to face, namely the kind of temptations that our Lord faced. The temptations of Jesus had no appeal to us as an unbeliever because they were not at home in our human nature. Our Lord's temptations and ours as we're saved, are in different realms until we are born again and become his brother. The temptation of Jesus are not those of mere man, but the temptations of God as man. Through regeneration, that's us, the Son of God is formed within us, that's Galatians 4, and in our physical life. And now he has the same setting, we have the same setting that Jesus had on earth. Satan does not tempt us just to make us do wrong things. He tempts us to make us lose what God has placed within us through regeneration, namely the, possib the possibility of being of any value to God. And what he's saying is that when we yield to temptations and we keep getting into trouble, we, we slide further and further from what God would have for us. And we become of no value because we are so caught up in guilt and conviction. He doesn't come to us on the premise of tempting us to sin, but on the premise of shifting our point of view away from God to the temptation. And only the Spirit of God within us can detect this temptation of the devil. Temptation means a test of the possessions held within the inner spiritual part of who we are by a power outside of us and foreign to us. This makes the temptation of our Lord explainable. Satan was outside of, of the Lord in the desert, tempting him from the outside not from the inside. After Jesus' baptism, having accepted his mission of being the one who takes away the sins of the world, he was led up by the Spirit, Holy Spirit, into the wilderness and into the testing devices of the enemy. Yet he did not become weary or exhausted. He went through the temptation without sin, and he retained all the possessions of his spiritual nature completely intact. The question I have is, it said, he, he mentioned that we become of no value to God when we yield to temptation. And that's the question I have for us today. Do we see ourselves as of value to God? Honestly, ask yourself, do you see yourself as having value to God? And what could he do with that? Or are we drawn away through temptations? Let's pray. Father, I thank you for uh, this call to see that we can be of value to you if we would stay with you, if we would not yield to temptation. So, Father, give us strength today, and I pray that if we are of value to you, let us see it. If we are in a ministry that you've been blessing, let us see that, Father, and be encouraged by it. Thank you, Jesus, for taking this time in the desert to be tempted and coming through on the other side of it, pure and free. Let us, as you have been formed within us, stand in the same principle of temptation and spirit. We ask these things in Christ's name. Amen. God bless, and I'll see you at church tomorrow.